Morning, ladies. So our project today is our little bunny, and he's got some really big floppy ears that you can embroider a child's name or you could leave it blank if you would like to. Um, he's got a cute little face sleeping and he's just made out of minky and he's lovely and squishy and soft and he's very nice. So this morning we're just going to work on the ears. Um, we want to keep this short and sharp and keep it as user friendly and easy as, pro as possible. So step one, we have our ear picture. If you have a Stellaire, if you take a photo of this with your iPad and then using the Brother Design Snap app on the iPad, you'll be able to take a photo of it and then send it to the machine. If you have the Dream Machine or the Luminaire, you can save the JPEG image that you'll be able to get with the notes onto a USB and I'm going to put the USB into the machine and for those of you with the Stellar you can do this exactly the same as well. So open up your machine and we're going to come into my design centre. So step one is we want to bring in our ear image. So to bring in our image, we're looking for this symbol at the top and it's fairly similar on the Dream, the Luminaire and the Stellaire. We're bringing in the information from the USB because we've saved that JPEG onto a USB and I have put it in a file called Bunny and there's my bunny ear JPEG. So here's my ear and select set. So we now would like to allocate a stitch to this guy so that he becomes a property that I can rotate and put two on the screen. On the right hand side we've got two setting screens. The top one is for outline and the bottom one is for fill. In this project we are not using any of the fill patterns, we're only concentrating on the outlines. So come into your setting page and we're going to choose a running stitch and choose the colour green. And then grab your bucket and touch the screen. And I've forgotten to turn it into a line image so I'm going to press line and here is my line image and because I have selected the line in the green is showing up down the bottom and go OK. And press set, my image looks nice and clean. And you'll notice that it's now in a, a red box which means that I've got control over it so I can rotate it, resize it um, and position it. So I would like to rotate it Now you can see the original background image, this one on the right, if you don't want it. What's the wrong way? That has got rid of my background image. So there's my number one ear. Now we can resize that if we would like to, if we go into the size button. And in my notes I've recommended that you resize to 275 by 80. So I'm just going to shrink him down a little bit. Oops, wrong way. Whoops. Now ladies, you will notice on the notes that it says 275 by 80. 
but that's because the it hasn't alloc um, this wider measurements um, relying on the red box. So worry about the top measurement, not the bottom measurement. Okay. We now need to put a second one on the page, and it's very easy. See the symbol at the bottom, that one there. This will give me a duplicate, and we have got two ears. And you want to allow enough space between them so that you can actually cut them out. So um, I reckon, you know, we've got plenty of fabric, so we're just going to put them like so. Our next step is we want to save this information into our design centre because this green line is going to be our placement line and it's going to secure our satin fabric to our tear away and it will also secure it so that we can embroider a name or something onto the ears. So I'm going to save it so the arrow going into the pocket is going to save it into memory and you can either save it onto your USB or into the machine's memory. Now you'll notice that our stitch line is green and that means this is our tack down. We're going to go next. Now you'll notice that it's only showing up one ear. See the little chain symbol? If you press on that it will find everything is relevant to that particular stitch which is the running stitch and then it's showing me both ears. I would like to change the run pitch to 2.2 or this is the stitch length and remember to press set and then when you go preview it goes my design data will not be saved ok to continue we had saved it already on that first page, so we'll move on. If you're unsure, go back and save it. I would recommend you save it at every stage. That way you can go back to it if need be. So this is a preview before we go into embroidery. And so now we are going to go into embroidery. And on the screen it says, converted to embroidery pattern and my design centre will be exited. OK to continue to embroidery edit screen and we're going to go OK. We are now in the edit screen of the embroidery screen. If you would like to put a name on an ear, at this stage all you need to do is select add and go into your fonts and I'm going to put the name Adeline on these ears. I'm just going to choose a nice cursive font. Select the first letter and I'm just going to put it onto a medium size. Go to lowercase and then type in the rest of the name. And on the Stellar you can see your spelling correctly at the top. If you wanted to put in another name, you can use the space bar and the return key will actually give you a second row of lettering. But just for time this morning, I'm just going to put Adeline and go set. To rotate, open up the edit screen and I can rotate that. And if it's not big enough, if you go OK, you can go into size and I can make it bigger. If you're unsure of the font and you're thinking you'd like to change it, if you go into the T and then down the bottom you've got the three A's, you can see what it looks like in another font. I think I like that one and go OK and set. Like so. If you wanted to put more lettering in, you could add and add more lettering. How's everyone going? 
Kim says this will be great to watch back so that we remember, unlike when we're sitting watching all the <laughs> <on> days. <laughs> oh, good. Thanks, Kim. Okay, so this is our step one. So now we've put on the green, which is our tap down, and then we've put in our lettering. We now need another row of stitching so that we can secure the back of our ears to the front of our ears and then turn them out. I've got to get my hands out of the way. Isn't that funny? Okay, so we're going to go into Add, back into My Design Centre. This time we're taking it from the pocket, which is the pocket with the arrow going out of it, into Machine Memory, and it's the last thing we added. So we're going to grab those ears and go set. We need to change our stitch to a triple straight stitch. So we're going to come into the settings for the outline, choose our triple stitch and change it to pink. And then grab the bucket, so touch the bucket so it goes blue, and then touch on the screen. And did you see it go pink? And I'll just touch the other one and it's gone pink so that you can see that you have changed it from a running stitch to a triple stitch. We're then going to go to next and as with the first step, grab your anchor chain to grab both ears and we're going to change our run pitch, which is our stitch length, but in the manual it's called a run pitch, to 2.2 and go set and go preview. My design centre will not be saved, okay to continue. You can go cancel and you can see the pocket with the arrow, you can save it into memory. Go preview, we've saved it, go set. And we are now back into our embroidery screen. On the right hand side you can see that our first colour is leaf green. Our second colour is black, which is the word, and then the third colour is the pink, which is our last row of stitching. So we're just about ready to stitch out our ears. So we're going to press embroidery and move into the last phase of our project. And I'm just going to go get our hoop, won't be a moment. So. Here's my hoop and I've just hooped up some tear away and whoops, got it around the wrong way. So to prepare my piece of satin I did use a little bit of spray starch and I have just hooped up my tear away and I've laid down my satin on the top. You do not use a green thread to stitch this down. I would recommend you use a pale pink, like I've got up here. Um, but just so that you can see the stitch line happening, I've got a dark pink on the machine at the moment so that you can see it stitching out. If you're worried about the pink moving, You could put just a couple of pins in. Top and bottom. Um, when I did this stitch sim out the other day, he, he was okay. So then, um, thread your machines, lower your foot, and press start and it's going to stitch out stitch down our ear so whilst that's stitching out in the notes it will tell you how much fabric you're going to require and I pretty I've used 10 inches by 16 inches and my satin has been um, ironed with a little bit of fabric starch just to give it a little bit more body. Um, you could use a light iron on uh, Whisper Weft. 
or a light stabiliser if you'd like your ears to be a little bit stiffer. Um, but because it's for a little kid, I think keeping it nice and soft is not a bad idea. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Hi Jan, hi Roz, hi Gay, hi Jill, hi Sue, hi Lynn, hi Kay, who else is up there, hi Yvonne, oh wow we've got heaps, hi Jan, hi Bernadette, welcome to today's class, great to have you on board today. So it's stitched down our ears and we're now ready for our word and I'm just going to keep my thread in the darker pink so we can see our ears where they've stitched out quite nicely and so I would normally re-thread, lower my foot and we'll put Adeline, Adeline's name there. Hi Mary Ann, hi Patricia, welcome. So just so that you know how we've got set up today, we've got the machine set up here with the camera and I'm actually looking at the TV with our Facebook going live so that I can see who's joining us um, and uh, Lisa and Christina are floating around um, helping answer questions and stuff which is um, excellent. So we're up to our last part. So I've got my minky just here. Um, and it's a really soft fluffy one and I've made sure that my stretch is going across the narrower part um, there's not much stretch that way I don't think it really matters to which way it goes and now and then you've just got to decide on which is the right side for you 
So I quite like the, the shorter rather than the longer. So I'm going to place that down over my ears. If you're worried about it moving again, I'm just going to pull that out a little bit. Whoops. It really does pay to um, have your hoop on a flat surface when you're pinning. So pin there. We're going to try and get some magnets in for this, which will make it really good. So watch this space. We'll hope to have them over the next couple of weeks. If you'd like to pre-order them, comment below. So we're now up to the last dark pink, the deep rose in the dark colour. Again, I would recommend you use a thread colour to match your fabric. I'm using the dark pink so that you can actually see it stitch out. This is a triple stitch so that it's going to hold the back of the ears to the front of the ears. Lower your presser foot and press start. Julia, that's a name I didn't say hello to before. Yes, I said I think I said hello to Marianne, if not hello Marianne. It's funny ladies, I chose a dark pink thread so that you could see it but the minky is um, hiding it. You can faintly see the outline of the ears. <laughs> they're very cute when they're stitched out. Um, this, these haven't been pressed yet, so they'll be better once they've been pressed. So with Easter coming up, these might make some great gifts for the grandkids. And having the satin ears would be a great present for new babies because bubbies love that, you know, that satin in their hands. Something to hang on to. If you're wondering who Beatrice is, um, it's a new baby at church and she's very cute. I haven't met her yet. We, um... Church has been cancelled with Corona, so hopefully over the coming months um, I'll get to meet her and have cuddles. So this afternoon ladies um, we're moving on to a luminaire project and I'm going to show you how to set up your machine for doing the couching um, it is very easy and after my training in March I learnt a lot so I'm going to showcase that to you this afternoon and that like this morning will be a smaller presentation um, just so that it records easy and that you've got something to go back and watch and we are going to do part two of our bunny first thing on Monday morning. So 10 o'clock Monday morning, come back and see us. And we will be showcased. I think it's 10 o'clock. We need to check the diary. But we'll post that after this and confirm all that. Pardon? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't last long in my house. You could make it out of a um, slightly stronger fabric, Jan. Make it out of some drill. 
and they would probably last okay. One thirty this afternoon is. Woohoo, ladies! And it's finished. So part one of our ears is completed. So now what you need to do is take your hoop out of the machine. and take your tear away off the back and because we've used a uh, triple stitch and a straight stitch it should tear off really easy There's our bunny ears and I find it easier if you actually turn it over that way you can see your stitch line and I'll just go get a pair of scissors that work won't be a minute approximately so then Ladies, I would cut out using a generous quarter inch seam. So that's one ear. and then you just want to cut your little snips into the stitch line like so So that's them done and then you want to turn them inside out and this is where your humble chopstick makes it easy don't poke your, your chopstick through the end like I just did so a plain ear still looks really gorgeous. So they turn out very easily. And even using that darker stitch, you can't really see it. And I would give them a press now before you join them to the bunny on Monday. With your leftover pieces of minky, they can be used to stuff the body of your bunny. They're pretty much useless for anything else. So I would just cut them into, you know, smaller pieces like that. And they will stuff in quite nicely. They're just so soft, um, so squishy and yummy. Um, the satin I'd just throw in the bin. Or you might want to use that for badges or something if you're a Scrooge. Um, so that's part one of the design. So you'll need to have these done for Monday for our next session. Um, we'll post the PDF of the ears in part one later today. So keep an eye on our web page. Um, for those of you who have jumped on and commented, um, if you'd like to put your email 
and we might be able to email you the PDF for the ears so that you can have a go and make a start. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I trust that you have enjoyed that. Um, remembering we've got a great online presence. Our web page has got lots of products. We're available through phone and we can also do one-on-one -on -one lessons with YouTube and FaceTime. Thanks very much, girls. We'll see you this afternoon. So, back to the Facebook. Hi, Marge. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Gay. Hi, Cheryl. So, ladies, um, just so that you know what's happening is I'm sitting in front of the Stellaire and I'm then sitting in front of the big TV and we've got our Facebook page up there so that I can see who's joining us so that we can interact with each other um, and stay in touch. So Lisa is here also, so if you've got any questions, um, we are here to help you get the most out of today's workshop. Thank you for joining us. So last week on Friday, I showed you some bunny ears and we made some beautiful bunny ears. Um, so I've got my two bunny ears here ready to go. And I also have got hooped up, just so that you can see. So I've got a piece of tearaway. And then I'm going to lay down my minky. And my Solvi. Now I have been very generous with my Solvi. I probably only need a small piece for my face. Um, however, I just feel that this is a little bit easier. And I'm just going to put a couple of pins in each corner. On Friday, we did talk about some new magnets to do this. They're on their way. They'll be here hopefully by the end of this week. And as soon as they're available, we'll let you know. And I will demonstrate them. So there's my fabric with my Solvi. For those of you who are new to embroidery, Solvi is a water-based product that will dissolve in the wash and it's designed to hold down the pile of your fabric so that you get a beautiful finish. Okay. So on Friday I spoke about the requirements that you needed, you needed two pieces of minky. So there's my front of my bunny, there's my back of my bunny, which we'll use in a little while. Okay, so opening up Design Centre. And I probably did that too quick, so I'll just go back. So Design Centre is on your home page down the bottom. And we need a shape for our bunny. So we are going to go into the shapes icon, which is the circle and the square on the right-hand side of your screen. And you'll notice that you've got some tabs along the top. We're going to go into the second tab and we have a little body down on the right hand side above the house and press OK and we now have our little body on the screen and we need to resize it. To resize this pattern we need to press size and then using the arrows that are pointing outwards we are going to resize him until he is pretty much as big as he can go I want to take him up so that he is 300 sorry girls and boys if there's any gentlemen out there joining us this morning now you'll notice that I am making him a little bit narrower just so that he or she <laughs> is well and truly within the parameter of the embroidery frame. 
when working with Design Centre, I have found that by working with a slightly smaller shape, as you go through setting up your stitches, everything works a lot smoother. So once we've resized our body, press OK. We need to change this so that it's to a running stitch. And as we did on Friday, we went into the settings page for the outline. We're going to choose the running stitch and green and select OK. Now select the bucket in the settings page, above the settings page and touch the screen and you'll notice that it will change colour. That's nice and easy, isn't it? So we've now got our stitch down line that'll hold our Solvi and our Minky to our stabiliser, but it also gives us an outline to put our face. So we're going to save this into memory. To save it into memory, down the bottom you have a pocket with an arrow going into it. So we've got our outline as green and we're going to move into next. In our page where we set up our stitch stitches, we're going to change our run pitch, our stitch length to 2.2 and we're going to select set. And if you would like to save it here as well, again, it's the pocket with the arrow going into it. And then we're going to go to preview and then set. And on the screen it says converted to embroidery pattern and my design center will be exited. Okay to continue to embroidery edit screen and press okay. So we're now in the edit screen of the embroidery and we need to add a face. So we're going to select the add down the bottom and I've got a little face on a USB and a bunny. So there's my little face and you'll need to move your face up to somewhere in the vicinity where a face should be. So once we've got our face there, we now need to add on another row of stitching which will hold down our ears. So we're going to go add and then we're going to go into my design center and we're going to bring from memory, so it's the pocket with the arrow going out and it's the last one, so our little green body. And we need to change this. Um, we don't want to move it. We, what we want to do is we want to put a line across the top so that we can stitch down our bunny ears. So I want to just grab my pencil and just draw a line across the top. The other way to do that, I'm just going to return. If I go into my settings, I can actually ask it for a straight line. See at the top, straight line. We do want a running stitch, green. And I'm just going to do... And so there is a stitch down line across the top. Okay? So this will help hold down my ears. I actually don't want this body at this stage because we want it sewing in the right order. There is a little box here. If I grab this one, I can grab my body and I'm going to get rid of that box. I hope that makes sense. So I've just got this line and go next, go preview, OK, go set, OK and we have our stitch line there. Now, if it's not in the right position, you can open up your edit, move it down just a little bit so that it's right at the top. 
We're now going to add on our outline. So we're going to go add, back into Design Centre. From the memory of the machine, we're going to grab that green outline again. And this time, we're going to change it to a triple stitch. So into the settings of the outline, into a triple stitch, choosing pink and press OK. Select your bucket icon and tap your screen. We need to create an opening now so that we can turn our bunny right side out. So if we grab our eraser tool, and you can choose the, the bigger pattern. And then just rub out along the left-hand side of his body. You can do the right-hand side or across his head. Oh, well, there's the best spot. Just do it there, please. <laughs> and then we're going to go through next. We're going to change our run pitch to 2.2. Go set, preview. OK, and go set, and go OK. So now we're up to, back into our embroidery screen. At this stage, um, we're just going to follow through into our embroidering screen, and we're going to start stitching out. So I'm going to lower my foot and press start. So our first stitch down colour green, I would suggest you use a thread to match the fabric that you're sewing, not necessarily use green. And ladies, I just broke a needle, so bear with me. I'm just going to grab some and I'm going to change the needle, won't be a second. So Gay, we will be putting the pattern for the face yeah. with the notes yeah. and all of that will be available tomorrow. It's always the way when you're trying to do something in a hurry and you um, and I'm not quite sure why that needle broke. Aren't you glad these things happen live as um, we normally have these things happen in club day? And I think my thread got wrapped around the end of the spool. They've got two pumps online at the end, but really how fair is that? Like you, you can take it. So I'm just going to go back a few stitches to stitch over where we're up to. So I'm going to come into my plus minus and just come back, lower down and start.
Lovely to have you all with us this morning. I'm just going to speed up the machine because I slowed it down the other day. So ladies, um, I found my minky at Spotlight, um, but I'm sure Homecraft and um, you should be able to find it at a few different places. You could use um, flannelette, though it probably hasn't got the stretch. And I did find using the minky very forgiving, um, especially when you come to putting your ears in and um, juggling with the next step. So whilst this is stitching out, um, I have a new product to show you. Um, some K Karen K Buckley scissors. Um, there's a few in the range, but these ones are uh, new. They've got lovely big hand holes, and they have got really sharp point. Um, and they've got a serrated blade, so they actually grab hold of stuff, um, and they're really, really nice. So there's those ones. And these ones, these ones have got a really neat little curve. You've got to be careful with these because they're really, really sharp. Put the next colour on. Ladies, if you're using the Brother embroidery thread, remember to have the number facing the needle and the thread coming underneath the spool towards you. Hi Nola, thank you for joining us. It really is nice having you all join us this morning. Sort of takes away the loneliness that this um, virus might have impacting our our world. I have a neighbour who has been in Bali and he's in um, quarantine and uh, he stuck his head over the fence the other day asking for a tin of tuna because uh, his daughter had been feeding it to the cat. just in case you needed to know that. <laughs> Lisa's just handed me Bunny to show you whilst he's stitching out. She has come out very cute. So my first one I actually put um, a baby's date of birth on one ear and Bubby's name on the other. So you can do lots of things. You could even put a name across the front. And don't forget to save your scraps of minky from your ears because they are great for stuffing. Hi, Jill. Nice to have you with us this morning also. Another product to show you, we've got these lovely magnetic pin dishes. 
Um, great to have beside your machine and you can literally throw your pins into them. Um, we've got them available in the copper and also in the silver. And they are $12.95. So ladies, we're now up to that straight line that we um, brought in and we're going to grab our two little ears. So at this stage, um, you'd probably be better off taking it out of the hoop, but I'm going to just put my ears at the top. And you want a little bit of a gap, otherwise they look a little bit ridiculously close. And I'm going to put that across there and we're going to go into the settings page of the screen. So the settings page looks like a little clipboard Oops. and you need to come to page four. We're going to take our speed right down as slow as it'll go and we're going to take our embroidery foot up to three and press OK. And then I'm going to lower my foot and I'm going to stitch down my ears. pull this out so we want to make sure our bunny ears are well and truly in the middle of our stitching And putting the solvy down also gives something for your tape to hang on to. You do not want to be stitching over your ears. So there we go, we've got our ears secured into the middle of our hoop and then Gently put your hoop back into your machine. Can you see on the screen the little green dot? That's where it's going to start. So it sort of goes up and around. And because we're using Minky, just sit with it. Just be ready to press stop if, you, if it looks like it's going to get caught. Hi Karen. So you can just, with your fingers, be careful not to stitch your fingers. Mm -hmm. 
what I found when using the Minky, because it's got so much stretch, um, it really is quite easy to use. Now it goes back and does the triple stitch. And because it was sewing okay, I'm just going to pick up the speed a little bit so that we can... I'm not going to go up too fast, but I'm just going to speed it up just a little bit. I saved us a minute. So ladies, I noticed this morning during our tutorial that we did have a few um, things happening in the shop. There was a little bit of extra noise. So we will endeavour to try and recreate our space so it's a little bit more soundproof so that um, our presentation is coming along a little bit more smoother. Not sure how we'll do that, but we'll come up with something. We're just excited that we can still have our club days and our tutorials and be interacting with you all. I'm looking forward to a really good hug in 12 months. I think I'm going to save them up and um, I think I'll, you know, book everyone in for a big hug in 12 months' time. Hello, Jill. Welcome. Thanks, Kay. Yes. Oh, thank you, Gay. We love all feedback. You'd all laugh at me. I've been so nervous getting ready for these. Lisa's telling me I'm a bit of a stress head. <sighs> Woohoo! We're down to the last five stitches. And finish embroidery and gently take your hoop out. Beautiful. We now have our body, and you can see it a little bit clearer on the back. So get rid of your tear away. And ladies, I use just a light tear away. You could use a heavy tear away, it doesn't matter. Um, you've got so many stitches going around that little body that it'll be relatively easy to peel off. Okay, and then grabbing your scissors, and I'm going to show you, in case you have these beautiful new ones. And if you go from the side where you can see, I'm just going to use a scant quarter inch. Not a scant quarter inch, a generous quarter inch.
And that straight line across the top, doesn't matter where you cut there, just cut the top, cut it around. where you need. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> okay, so once you've cut around the edge, all these little bits of polar fleece, just cut them into one, two inch squares and they stuff him or her very nicely. Once you've done that, just a few little snippies into the where there's a curve however with minky you don't need to stress too much about this and then turn him inside out and free his ears And we have our honey and pull off the salvi and then all you need to do is stuff him and he's finished. Isn't he gorgeous? So ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining us. Um, we look forward to our next tutorial and lovely to um, see you all pop up and say hello um, and thank you for being our customers and I look forward to our next tutorial. See you next time.